Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California. We are working on our second technique, background technique for our uh, altered book. And when I complete all the backgrounds, I will be putting focal points on the pages. I may not wait until the book's complete. I may stick some focal points on as I go, because that's really a fun part. But uh, I'm here to inspire you for the backgrounds. So, that being said, see you on the table. Okay, this is our project for today. It's a two-page spread. It's your backgrounds. It has pockets. Pocket on this side and a pocket on this side that was created with envelopes. Lots of fun stuff going on here. It's all ready for your focal points. Then you might want to add some white dots or some doodles or something like that. But this is the foundation. And this is on the back pages of the uh, these pockets. Okay? So we can see a color theme going on here. Oh, goodness. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, I was all over the place when I was getting the supplies ready. Um, but I'll try to make a list of the supplies so that you can be a little bit prepared for this project. Nice background, villagers. Nice background. Okay, good morning, dark o'clock. Rob and I have already done our yoga. The uh, mantra for today was, I am worthy. <clears throat> Sounds like a great way to start this morning. All right, so for today's project, you're going to need some squares of fabric some circles of fabric, a glue stick, two envelopes, these are kind of pretty, Mod Podge, and gesso. We're going to visit the uh, book that we're working on together. So here is the page that we worked on together with the pockets. And what I'm going to do is go to the center of the next signature and I'm just going to remove that center page. And then I'm going to go back to this page. So it looks like this could use a little bit more strength here. That's just a personal call on my part. So I'm going to glue this page here, give it some strength. Always looking for strength on those books, right? Oh, wrong side. Guess we'll be gluing two pages here, huh? Now it'll be fine. I'll bring that page over. Ignore the fact that there's Mod Podge there. Well, we'll bring one more over. What the heck? be nice and strong now. We can build on that. We're going to do it. Just going to build the next page. All right. So on this side I'm going to glue three pages together. One, two, and three. 
Lots of shadows this morning. It is very early this morning. And I'm going to glue this one as well. So just to revisit that, we have our pocket pages here. I glued a couple more pages on here for stability. And then I glued three together here. Okay, that's going to be enough. Now I'm going to bring in the pages that I removed and the fabric. And I'm going to glue the fabric to that double page. Some hubby's talking to me. <laughs> so he thinks I can, I can hear him. He thinks he can hear me. So just randomly go over your pages and glue your fabric. All right, I have the fabric on. While it's still damp, I'm going to take the rings and I'm just going to organically, sporadically put them on the pages. I don't know if the Mod Podge is going to be wet enough to hold it or not. We're going to try. This is why I got the glue stick, but if I can do it without the glue stick, that would be fine with me. Stay there. And I have some dots, too, that I would love to use.
All right. Oh. One more. Mm, I'll put you there. Grab the gesso. And I know it's in a shadow. I'm just going to paint the gesso over the circles and the dots. All right, once that's done, you're just going to remove those circles. Oh, fun already, huh? I left the strings on, of course. Get them on? I think so. All right, I'm gonna set this aside to dry. While that's drying, bring my book back in. And the envelopes. And with Mod Podge, I am going to glue these envelopes down. All right, while those dry, while everything dries, I'm going to go have a little bit of coffee with Handsome Hubby before he scoots off to work. All right, this is virtually dry. Now I'm going to bring in my Distress Ink, a stencil. This is a Tim Holtz stencil. Just some noise, uh, a stamp for some noise and my stays on, and some purple paint. So we shall see. What happens next? Just going to add some polka dots with that. And it doesn't matter what stamp you use. Just You just want some noise. A little bit more than that, please.
just never know where these pages are going to go. They take on a life of their own. Bit by bit. Add a layer, add a layer. on my work surface here. I chose purple. My trusty brush. Remember I have these items on the Amazon link in the notes under the video. Here again I'm just going to add some Noise. Beautiful. to dry that. All right, our acrylic is dry. Now I am going to bring in, this is the mustard, mustard seed distress ink. And I'm just going to go in and add some color. say turquoise, it's peacock feathers. Mm, yum. This is delicious. So, 
you know, it takes on its, its own life. We all know that. I'm going to bring in some texture paste. Homemade texture paste. And I'm going to bring that same stencil back in. And I'm going to add just a little bit of texture. Oh my. Ugh. to my texture paste, loosen it up a little bit. But it's so nice. Oh, maybe I won't. This really works well. Mm, mm, I'm loving it here at Dark O'Clock in Vallejo, California. Oh my goodness. Alright, first off I need to wash that uh, stencil because we know that that texture paste turns to cement. Then I'm going to dry this. Now I'm going to grab my sanding block and just knock this down a little bit so that uh, focal points will stick better. Okay. Okay, what you're going to need next is another page from your book, another double page from your book. And some scissors. I think I can rip this center. I can't rip these because of the fabric. The fabric will not rip that easily. So I have to cut these. just going to reassemble them in a different pattern with some Mod Podge. Oh, this is fun.
paper towel and push that down with paper towel. Whoop! Um, the Distress Ink, of course, will move. I don't want it to move that much. I know, shadows are bad. Well, we ended up with the <laughs> with the correct amount. That's <laughs> that's fantastic. All right, let this dry. Very fun. I am going to bring in pick raspberry, kind of a hot pink. You guys know I am for inspiration only. That's why we're just doing the background techniques this time. Beautiful. Ah, oh, yep. Happy girl. Look at that. This goes very well with our um, pocket page. I can feel my colorful nature coming <laughs> back out here. All right, let's bring that book back in. Remember, we put the envelopes there. And this is going to lay right in there. So I'll put some Mod Podge down on that page. Oh my gosh, we can still sit on our book. There's not so much going on that we can't sit on it. Bum art, love that. In this book, I'm trying to have a little bit of interactivity on each page. We'll see how we do with that. Two in a row. <laughs> pockets in the first, pockets in the second, but different kinds of pockets. Okay. Stalling. That's in that crease very well.
Pretty cool, huh? Alright, I'm going to put a paper towel on this and I'm going to sit on it. I put the paper towel on. I folded the envelope flaps over. Let's add some color to them, shall we? I want them to stand out from the rest, but they do need some color. some dots on there. Right now, mm. <laughs> I was gonna say now I'm gonna sit on it, but I've got my overalls on already. I'm not in my pajamas, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover these guys up before I sit on it. Otherwise, I will have distress ink on my bum. All right, have a seat. I'm gonna stabilo on this while it's on the paper towel. I'm a spit and smudge girl, you guys know that. All right, let's do the unveiling. Oh, it's gorgeous, huh? Absolutely. So I'll just go around the edge with my stabilo. Make a nice finished edge on it. And this is all ready for your focal points. Got to do something to that. We'll do that. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. All right. Go create. Go play. Go have fun. We've got envelopes in here, pockets in here. Put things in. Flaps on, flaps off. Whatever you decide. It's kind of fun to have them this way. All right. Go create. Go play. Go have fun.